The pick that sealed the deal, sending the dominant Lions to the NFC Championship for the second time in franchise history. Please welcome none other than the, the linebacker drafted by the new Detroit regime. No one happier this morning than Derek Barnes, I assume. Not at all. Derek, when's the last time you slept? You had this game yesterday. I can't imagine. You also, I believe, have uh, like a very fresh baby. Yes. Uh... He was actually a handful last night after the game. <laughs> I kind of, you know, you, I had it enjoyed in the locker room because I know when I got home, I was going to be on dad duty. Uh, he was, it, it's weird because like when I sleep in a room, you know, obviously we're in the playoffs and the wifey lets me go to the other room and sleep through the night during the days I have sure. practice. But but the nights I sleep in a room, it's like his worst days ever. And it's like every 30 minutes. And then I sleep in the other room, wake up next morning and my wife's like, oh, he slept great. He only woke up twice or one time. I'm like, must be nice. Well, Derek, I'm in it's there. this. Um, this don't sleep. Like, he feels this all. energy from you, I bet. He's a, he. How could you possibly sleep with what you're radiating in that room? Yeah, he's our, he's our good luck charm. Ever since, we haven't lost her since he's been born, so we're praying to keep that going. Yeah, how, how old is he? He's literally 12 days old, right? 12, 13 days Yes, old. he was. Yep, yeah, January 9th. Mm -hmm. so, wow, your life is, 2024 is going pretty well for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Derek, talk me through your first career interception. Oh, it was crazy. Um, it's kind of it kind of just goes back to what we've been playing all week. I remember just that only that play just in my mind. Ag voice and my uh, linebacker coach Shep was like, "We have to pack the seams." Baker Mayfield wants to throw the ball mm. down the seams, and and I was like, and I was super tired. I'm rushing, and I'm like two minutes drill. I'm like, oh, I was like, I gotta push this last series. We gotta get off the field, and I just like I'm dropped with urgency, and I just seen him bending behind me. I'm like. Okay, pack the seams and see going through my head. And then I turned around, I seen the ball, and it was all like slow motion to me. It was the weirdest thing ever. It reminds me of when I caught my first peak in uh, college. Like it's all slow motion. You don't know what to do. Thank God it was, we call it Miller time, where if we're up and, and you get a fumble or interception, you go down. So thank God it did because I could not get up a run. I was just so filled with excitement. It was, it's amazing, man. It's, Detroit deserved that one for sure. What's the lesson in that? Like, it's crazy. Like, you know, it's, uh, I can't, I, I imagine when that's happening, you're like, I can't believe that just happened. I couldn't, like, everybody, I remember somebody asked me yesterday, and it was just like, everything was just a blur to me. It's like, I'm, I'm running and I get to the end zone and I'm holding my arms out and everybody's slapping on my head, my chest. And I'm like, and I just laid down, like, what just happened? Like, what, what is this? And it was, it's, it's crazy. Uh, it's, you know, if you, if, if you, if people now outside so understand what we went through as a team to get where we are, man, this is very exciting for us. And, you know, we're, we're beyond blessed. And, and it's just the opportunity that comes in. The fact that we can continue to, you know, do that the week in and week out is just amazing. Derek, the group Derek what are some of the things that you went through? Um, you know, I, I came in with Dan, you know, his first class, uh, struggled a little bit, you know, three and 13 and, and one was, was crazy. Um, been through that, you know, we started off slow last year, one and six, end up, you know, finishing nine eight, which was good. I we just knew, you know, I knew what, what Dan and Brad and all of them had, you know, when they drafted us, uh, wanted to get a group of guys who all had the same mindset and that was, you know, wanting to win and, and show grit. And that's what we came with came up with that name. Uh and just the group of guys we added to to our team. Mm. It's been a just a journey and you know the you know, outsiders and a lot of people didn't believe in this. And that we all, we knew inside our building our organization that, you know, we were, we knew we were about and we knew our identity was and we just kept the ball rolling. And, and it's amazing to come in week in and week out and seeing the guys work and, and strive to be better each and every week. As you sit here now, 2024, and you look, you think back to 2020, what, now you're a dad, now you made this big play. You, you were, like you're saying, like the, the new way with Brad Holmes, his first draft class. Uh, as a GM, as a GM there. And this is, you know, your toughness there. And then there's all the Detroit toughness that came before that. When you look back at that phone call on draft night, what was sort of the impression that Brad and Dan Campbell left about the direction of the franchise? Do you remember what they told you? I just, I, I was really, I was so excited and it was just so, so I can't really remember what they said, but I can tell you one thing, just the, the tone in their voices, um, how they talked to me, they they made me believe how uh, how a huge part I could be for this team, this organization. Uh, believed in me when I was, you know, I struggled my rookie year coming in, um, and those guys kept believing in me. And 
And I just knew, like, this is a group of guys I want to be around. This is a coaching staff I would lay it all out on the line for. Uh, Dan, Brad is amazing. AG, Shep, all those guys in the facility, my peers, my, my players, um, teammates. Mm. It's, it's, it's amazing. And then they all had picked me up. And, you know, like I said, I showed coming in. And, you know, I'm a, like Coach said, I'm a late bloomer. But uh, And I knew that about myself. But I knew once I got the ball rolling that – now I can open some eyes, and uh, and the fact that they they stuck with me and believed in me for these past three years has, has been amazing. So I can't thank them enough. And I knew once I got that phone call, what it was going to be, and you know they all understood my process and, and never stopped believing in me. So all glory to them for sure. There's so much emotion on your face as we look at this play from last night when you hit the sidelines, and you're like everything's a blur, all of that. Um, there are some people saying some things after the Dallas game. And you said, quote, next time I'm going to make that play. So right. what does this feel like? Um, you know, it was <laughs> – I was really, really frustrated myself. Um, you know, those are plays that I make, uh, plays I've made my whole life. And uh, I think it was honestly just one of those things where, where God was showing me and, and trying to teach me how, to, how I'm going to react to the situation. Because uh, even after that play, I continued – you know, that's where my growth come from. You know, back in the day, I used to make this place like that and get down on myself. And it just my whole game just goes down to the dumps. But, you know, I, I've learned one thing and, you know, true believing faith. I knew God was testing me at that moment. Um, and I knew from that day on that I said I was going to get that play back for for my team and for myself. You know, not for, you know, the fans or anybody else. And, you know, I, I believed in myself, continue to believe in myself. And I told myself. I'm going to get that play back no matter what it is. I'm going to make a difference. Um, and, and I did. And, you know, I really want to thank my teammates for that and believe in me hmm. and stick with the rest of the coaches. So, you know, it's, it's, it's weird because it's like that's the first thing that ever happened to me in my career where, you know, you get the DMs, you get the, the comments on your pictures and stuff. It was like, wow, like I never went through this. And, you know, I actually had to, you know, talk to an older guy, the veteran, um, Alex Anzalone, a good buddy of mine. Uh, best friend in the league. He was like, man, that's how the game goes, man. Yeah. So you got that noise out. And and I, I tried for, for so long. And I did. Um, and But it was all on my mind up to this week. You know, I'm, I'm going to make something that, that that makes me feel proud about myself and not nobody else. I'm doing it for myself, for sure, my teammates and organization. It's impossible to not root for. It's amazing. And you're mentioning your teammates. And you and Aiden Hutchinson, I saw in the post game with Kaylee. And he could not have been more, like, like, proud of you happy for you after that pick he was like beaming ear to ear he was at the locker room telling reporters about the moment how how it made him feel what's your relationship like with him and what makes this defense so special oh man uh, <laughs> Aiden is a guy he reminds me of a guy I uh, played with in college always willing to work always willing to get better wants to do everything right you know I look over to him and um in the game during the game days Sundays he's over there studying make sure he has all this all his cues and keys ready to go. Uh, you know, he, he wants to give it his all. You know, you're talking about a Michigan Michigan native, a uh, guy that's seen the the highs and lows of Detroit Lions. Um, and, and this is his his state, his city. Uh, and the fact that, you know, this means so much to him is, is amazing just to see the look on his face. You know, that's what, that's what we do the sport for, man, for for the city, for for people, you know, who, who root for you and, people who believe in you since day one. Yeah. Uh, Aiden is, is a, a great guy, and, you know, he, he deserves all of this, and he's also a great player, man, and I'm glad that I can play beside him, behind him, next to him. It's, it's, it's awesome, man, and, and, and he deserves this as, as long as our team, for sure. Uh, I, I'm a little worried about, like, the game plan with celebrating because I don't like that you couldn't really celebrate in the locker room because you had to go home and do that. Can we get, like, I'll come in and be a babysitter. I'll help mom. I'll, I just feel like for this next round, if y'all go and do what you're supposed to do against the Niners, we got to figure right. out, we got, we got to figure out a little something extra, huh? Yeah, we got we, we to game yeah. plan that. The thing, right. The thing that's going to kill me is the, the five hour plane, plane ride back. Yeah. So, and I, <laughs> I got to get, get off the plane and go straight, straight to duty. You know, it's, uh, it's funny because you know that people was like, "Oh, we're going to celebrate the bars." I'm a, I'm a, I'm a husband. I'm a husband and a dad first. I'm, a, I'm gonna go do that. Um, my wife, you know. I mean, you brought Trey to the game. Yes. What a rider! Yes. Like you brought your 12, 12 day old first career interception, Trey's first game, and now he is the good luck charm. So he better be traveling and making arrangements to be there. Are we right? Yeah, we. They, okay. They're talking. Uh, okay. My my wife is uh, with him. She's. 
very protective. Protective, as you know, germs and all that. And it's it's a long ride. So, yeah. you know, whatever they decide to do, she decided to do, I'm going to ride with it. But, uh, sounds like you know, Sheila needs to, ride. sounds like Sheila needs to offer up the jet for our little good that, luck hey, charm. Trey, Sheila. Yeah, that's, what, that's, what I, that's what I've been saying. Was Sheila no, down I'm, there? Was Sheila down there just, you know, having a drink, a martini, a beer? Was she down there? Was she down there at all or no? Just, no. She's, I think she comes to the locker room. I didn't okay. see her on the field, but, Every game we win, you just see the look at her face. She's so proud of this team. I thought maybe like a crowd surf. I thought she was doing like a Jason Kelsey vibe down there. Oh, you know, yeah, we who don't, knows? Yeah, we, who don't, knows? we don't get one of those going. Next after round. This. Well, how are you going to yeah. do that? Because you talk about studying for Baker Mayfield so much, right? And you got you you did really prepared, and it clearly paid off. So give me the thing. What's the thing as you approach San Francisco that you're watching the that you know already you're going to watch the most tape of? We just have to be very detail sound. Uh, they have everything from a good running game, good passing game. Uh, a lot of guys to eliminate. Chris McCaffrey is great. All the receiving cores, Debo, Samuel. Um, they got a lot of weapons over there. And, uh, you know, not, we, we played a lot of good players, a lot of good teams. Uh, so, obviously, it's going to be a challenge. It's the playoffs. Uh, it's a great team. Uh, we just have to bring our best ball and prepare well for these guys. Um, you know, obviously, you have to treat like every other game and prepare the same, but have a little more urgency to you. Um, like I said, this is a great team we're going against. Uh, we literally talk about this day one of, you know, how can we get better in order to be able to compete with guys like Philly, guys like San Fran and uh, Baltimore, teams like that who was at the who's playing at a high level. Um, you know, I don't know what the game plan is right now, but I know that AG is going to dial some stuff up and, and get us going and put us in the right position to make plays and give us a chance to win this game. Uh, super excited for this moment. Um, I know we're super excited, but... Like I tell everybody, we're a type of team that, that goes in and we get the win and, and we, we focus on next week come that Monday. So we're, we're super excited. Got to get back to the drawing board and, and into the film and, and, and we can't wait to get to San Fran. Did you watch the Niners-Packers game? I did. What was your takeaway I, other than other than you better hope that it's raining on, <laughs> on game right, you, right. No. Uh, yeah, that was an amazing game. Green Bay is uh, has really come alive. Uh, obviously, they're one of our Rivals, so call it. But uh, no, I'm super proud of them guys over there. I know a few guys over there. Uh, Love is, is was playing outstanding. Uh, wide receivers were playing outstanding. Running backs were playing outstanding. Defense. Um, no, so kudos to them. Um, they put up a really good challenge with them. Uh, like I said, you know, San Fran, they held on. They have a good defense over there, good offense. So uh, mm -hmm. you expect that. explosive players. So, you know, that's like I said, that's something we have to eliminate going into this game. But, yeah, no, that was an amazing game to watch. I think that both teams, you know, deserve to win. But, obviously, you got to come out one. Um, but, no, we're excited. And, I, and, and Green Bay definitely did their thing. And, and obviously, San Fran, you know, do what they do and, and finish games out. So. Jared Goff, ready for this? 2021, you came in with him. I'm sure, you know, he's, he's evolved into quite a quarterback, quite a weapon. Yeah, he, uh, he was born ready for this. Like, a lot of – and when I first got to the league, and I and I'm kind of starstruck. So I'm like these guys I used to watch coming out of high school and coming out of college and to be able to play with uh, golf. Man, he is a he's a great leader, um, a great guy. He he blocks out the noise. He believes in himself, believes in his teammates. He picks people up when they're down. Uh, he's definitely a, a quarterback I would want to run the ball for or catch the ball for. Derek, uh, he's in his for. bag right now. He's man, in his he bag is. right now. I'm telling you, and his duffel, he in his go yard bag. <laughs> <laughs> he's in his go yard go bag. <laughs> go yard. Well, he's going to need it up against that defense. Listen, last one for you. Breaking news this morning. I don't even know if you've heard this yet. Brock Wright's injured, of course. And uh, your team, Mr. Holmes, just added not sleeping as well. He's got he's got a little baby, too. It's the entire roster. And he signed, <laughs> uh, he signed all pro tight end, Super Bowl champion, by the way, Zach Ertz. Now, you faced him. Know. Yeah, so Zach Ertz might get some time here. You faced him once during your rookie year when he was with Arizona. I know I'm just bringing this on you, but your reaction to your new teammate? Wow, actually, I'm. <laughs> I wouldn't say super close with him, but we have uh, the same agent, and I see his face pop up everywhere on my agent's uh, profile and stuff. But mm -hmm. no, I'm I'm super excited. Uh, that's wow. I did not know that. I've been. Like I said, busy being dead, but no. Are we he's excited? Be, it just happened. It yeah, happened like it happened during X. the interview. Yeah. He's going to be a, a huge aspect to this team. I think that does he, he has, have this. He has, does he have oh, this? He great. Are you sure? Tell me why he has this. Does he have this? You seen that man play? 
Say less. So you say, hey. <laughs> say less. So you know, yeah, no, he's, I'm, I'm excited, man. He's, uh, he's going to be huge. And he got that grit. You got to hold that up one more time for me. Woohoo! Time. Got, we got to get, we got to get you one of these. We got to get yeah, this. I this is literally why little Trey isn't sleeping because this is the energy right. you bring into the house. I, I, I figured it all out. I figured it all out. Listen, we could not be more excited for you. Thank you for stopping by. Embrace it. The fans, I hope that they travel. Guys, bring it to the Bay this weekend. Bring this towel. Bring baby Trey. She like, get the jet. Let's go.